Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of NASCAR Heat 3 Career Mode. Today we will be racing at Dover. Just a cup race today. I think this is the first race or episode that we've had where there's not an Xfinity race with Haley Diggin to start it off. So it's just a cup race uh, in Dover. I've had some decent uh, performances at this racetrack in the past. I haven't gotten a win here so hopefully we can pull that off. In today's episode, we're sitting good in the point standings right now, uh, well off, pretty much sitting very good in the playoff picture. We're probably going to be able to point our way in no matter what at this point. And as we come to our qualifying attempt, we made it to the last round of the third session in qualifying as we come through turns three and four on, on the exit of turn four down the front straightaway as we come across the line. We would set a 22.7. Uh, 18 as our best lap and I would call it there and we would end up qualifying in third for Dover So let's go see what we can do here in Dover today The Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series rolls into Dover, Delaware for the running of the AAA 400 Drive for Autism Dover International Speedway also known as the Monster Mile is a track with banking so high Drivers often call it a roller coaster ride in 2017, Jimmy Johnson rode this roller coaster to his 11th checkered flag, extending his own track record for wins. He is clearly not intimidated by Miles the Monster. Can the number 48 Lowe's Chevrolet do it again? Let's go trackside for the start of the race. All right, we are ready to get going in Dover. Martin Truex Jr. starts on the pole. Corey LaJoy had an engine change after qualifying. He will start in the back, your only driver that will be sent to the rear of the field as Martin Truex Jr. and Jimmy Johnson get ready to lead the way to the green as we will start on the back bumper of the 78 and the green flag is out. We are underway in the one mile track at Dover now as we start alongside, I believe, possibly the 41 of Kurt Busch now as we head into turns one and two. Truex looking to edge out ahead of the 48 and Jimmy Johnson has come through the center of the corner now on the exit of turn two. Jimmy Johnson is going to slide down just in front of me and clear me as we come through down the back straightaway as we head into turns three now with Keselowski and Kurt Busch battle behind me as we push up the track just a little bit but on the exit we maintain the third position as we come across the line to complete the first lap in this race with 28 laps to go now in stage one. Now as we come through turns one and two closing up on the back of the 48 and the 78 of Johnson and Truex now as we come down the back straightaway all over the 48's back bumper as we head into turn three. Obviously don't want to really get side by side with Jimmy Johnson because we get we risk being uh, getting getting wrecked by him and obviously that's not something that we want to have happen and by the time we come to lap four in stage one still pretty much in the same position but myself Truex and Johnson have all pulled away from the guys behind us quite a bit now as we sit about a second ahead of the cars behind and now as we head into turn three certainly showing a lot of speed in this car early on in this race and hopefully we can continue it we've had some great performances so far to start this season now as we come across the line to start the fifth lap and once again last time we were at Dover we had some temperature problems and once again we are having those issues again but like last race it's probably not going to be a big deal now as we come to lap 15 still in the exact same position this time getting into the back of the 48 just a little bit but we have pulled away even more from the guys behind me now as we come through across the line to complete the 15th lap as we head into turns one the 48 he moves up the track a little bit allowing myself to finally get an opportunity to look to his inside now as we come through the center of the corner now on the exit of turn two side by side down the back straightaway trying to move into the second position ahead of Jimmy Johnson now through turns three and four still side by side now as we come through the restart zone on the exit of turn four and we will clear Jim Johnson as we cross the line and it took us about 16 total laps to get up into the second place after starting third and clearly the 78 myself and the 48 all have very even cars and passing the 48 and holding second was a short-lived uh, moment for myself because we would end up losing the second position back to Jimmy Johnson now as we come to lap 23 of 29 stage one you see we've caught lap traffic which is a huge opportunity for myself to come through but before I could pass the 48 we would end up getting a caution and now we will be restarting with just a handful of laps to go in stage one and I was kind of happy we got this caution because it lets us three at least race it out for the stage victory without lap traffic being a factor now as we get ready to go green the green flag is back out it's four laps to go as we we come through to start uh, restart this race as we come across the line pushing the 78 of Truex trying to get ahead of the 48 and we're going to do exactly that now as we head into turns one and two side by side with the 48 of Jimmy Johnson as we exit turn two looking to clear him down the back straightaway but he's going to fight back down the straightaway as we head into turn three as he was pretty even with myself 
on the entrance of the corner. Now as we come through the center of turn Yo, three and on the exit of turn four, we do clear the 48 of Jimmy Johnson and we can set our sights back on the 78 of Martin Truex Jr. Now with three laps to go in stage one, we have not gotten a single stage win or a single playoff point, obviously, all season long so far. Now as we come down the back straightaway, trying to change that here in Dover. Now as we head into turns three and four, closing on the back bumper of Martin Truex Jr. now on the exit of turn four. He's already got about three wins this season, but as we come down the front straightaway, two laps to go in stage one, trying to find a way now around the 78. We certainly have the speed to get around him, but we have to find a way to actually use that speed to get through and pass him. Now as we come down the back straightaway with an opportunity to look to his inside going into turn three, and earlier in that race I would have maybe let him hold the position there, but it's obviously too late in stage one to give that position up now as we come out of turn four side by side as we cross the line final the final lap is underway in stage one as we go into turns one and two still side by side with the 78 of Truex but we will clear him on the exit of turn two down the back straightaway as Jimmy Johnson is going to take him side by side as we head into turn three for the final time in stage one through the center of the corner we have not won a single stage all season and we will come out of turn four to win our first stage and get our first playoff point on the season finally in Dover making a statement as to what this team is capable of doing now in this number one car as we moved over to the one from the 42 as our teammate Kyle Larson continues to not really being able to run up front like we expected but we'd come in take four tires and two cans of fuel and 20 or 19 cars stayed out to be exact so we would restart in the 20th position so obviously all of these cars ahead of us are going to certainly be a little slower than me and myself and the 48 of Truex we're all going to be way faster than these guys and it's now about who can get through the fastest as this is a 27 lap dash to the end of stage two, getting into the back of Danica Patrick very early on, allowing the 78 to get to my inside as we come out of turn two. Down the back straightaway, looking to get around all of these cars now as we head into turn three, a little cautious, not trying to get myself in trouble early on in this race. And now as we come out of turn four, still side by side with the 78 of Truex. Now as we take Danica Patrick and Harrison Rhodes three wide into turn one with an opportunity to gain a couple positions. It's Kozlowski takes the three wide behind us. Now as we close up on the back of Hembrick, now as we come out of turn two, down the back straightaway, side by side. We're going to force the three wide with him and McDowell as we head into turn three and easily working our way now into the top 15 past uh, the six of Trevor Bain. Now looking on the inside of the 38 of Reagan and the 23 of Greg Galding as we cross the line. Ryan Newman currently leads this race as we head into turns one and two side by side with Chastain and as we come out of turn two we're going to hit the apron and sideways we go and on the exit of turn two we will spin and hit the inside wall now multiple times and that's certainly going to be a huge setback as we had to come in and repair the car it wasn't DNF worthy but unfortunately I just completely screwed up and hit the apron and we get sent to the back obviously but I know at this point in the race we still have enough time and enough speed to get to the front of the pack because we know that the fastest cars on track right now are being held up still by these slower cars now as we cross the line to come to 22 laps to go in stage two i'm still confident we can get a top 10 in this stage uh, easily with how much these guys are being held up as you're seeing right here in front of me i had to get out of the throttle and even on the brakes which caused me to get onto the apron now as we head into turns three and four and automatically i came up with a decision to run the top line and this was certainly a little bit risky for myself as I decided we're going to pretty much just try to work our way through the whole field running this third lane up and obviously the risk is I could get hit by someone and just put right into the wall but we had to take this risk now as we come into turn two gaining a couple positions within this first lap and a half of this restart now as we head into turn three our teammate Kyle Larson now all the way back in 34th as he was uh, obviously shuffled back with these cars staying out and as we come three wide across the line 20 to go making contact with our teammate Larson once again now too as we go in into turns one he's, he goes sideways but he's able to save the car now as we exit turn two making contact again with Kyle Larson now as we come down the back straight away having to do a lot of throttle control right now just to make sure we don't get into the back of anyone as we come through turn three and four continuing to gain positions and that using this outside line allowed me to gain so many positions by the time we came to lap 13 you see I worked my way well inside the top 20 approaching the right side of the 48 of Jimmy Johnson one of the fastest cars in in the field I passed him and we would easily continue no driving our way past all of these cars as they just continued to run the bottom behind the slow cars so we passed Johnson 
and Truex, the two other fastest cars on the track. So really, I felt like I was the biggest threat right now to the field to maybe be able to come in and take command in this race. Now, as we work our way into the top 10 with multiple laps to go, we still have 13 to go in stage two. So certainly in a good position now as the Benedetto battles side by side with Sorensen down the back straight away. We give the Benedetto a bit of a shove as we head into turn three, trying to get up to the seventh position before we run out of time. And as we come out of turn four, we have a huge run on the outside of the 32. He's going to kind of squeeze us up to the wall a bit, but we do get past Matt De Benedetto now as we head into turns one. Still side by side, though, with him, and we're clearly showing so much speed in this car, and it was time to set our sights on the next handful of cars up in sixth and fifth, which were quite a ways ahead now as we come to just three to go in stage two. Obviously, we're not going to win this stage as I completely wrecked myself off the apron earlier, but as we come across the line and hit two to go, you can just see how much more speed I have compared to these slower cars. It's not like we have a really fast car. It's just we're much faster than the slow cars. Now as we come down the back straightaway approaching the white flag in stage two, Stanhouse battles for fifth up ahead as he already has a win after winning an ISM raceway which has been a race of upset winners in this career mode so far now as we come across the line to start the white flag in stage two closing up on the back of the 17 of Stenhouse trying to get a top five in this stage as we come out of turn two looking to the outside of the 17 down the back straight away DJ Kennington a fellow Canadian just ahead as we head into turns three and four for the final time in stage two still looking to that right rear of the 17 of Stenhouse now as we exit turn four he edges me out for a moment but we will come through side by side down the front straight away across the line we will get these six position in stage two so certainly a solid effort in stage two a very good comeback and it looked like we were maybe in big trouble when we crashed but uh, fortunately I was able to use that third lane to get around so many cars and we got up to six and Ryan Newman won the stage with Daniel Suarez finishing in seconds so we would take two cans of fuel and four tires and certainly we have a much bigger advantage as we're the furthest up out of the cars with a All good right, amount of speed now as we get ready to start Red. this final stage and the final stage is underway we are green Newman and Suarez lead us to the line Suarez certainly I think is a better driver than Newman but can he maybe get ahead of him? I don't think he will now as he starts on the outside line as we come through turns one and two. Ryan Blaney on my inside. So there is certainly a couple faster cars up here with myself, but they're probably not going to be able to nurse their way around these slower cars better than I can as we slide down to the inside in front of Blaney going through turns three and four. Now clearing DJ Kennington as we come out of turn four to enter the top five as we now make it three wide coming across the line heading into turns one. Three wide with the 17 and the 19 of Stenhouse and Suarez pushing up the track a little bit as I overshot just a little bit going into turns one and two but we would clear them both down the back straightaway taking over the third position as we close on the back of Casey Kane now in the number 95 car as we look to his right rear as we come out of turn four trying to gain another position down the front straightaway side by side with Kane as we head into turn one with just 36 laps to go the final stage is not a long stage at all considering how short the laps are in Dover as we have a little bit of a moment with Casey Kane as I kind of cut down on his right front and almost got I hit into the wall but fortunately I was able to catch the car and get out of the throttle before anything went wrong so I would end up falling back down to the third position for a brief moment but you can see just how fast I caught him so I automatically dive to the inside as we head into turns one and two clearing the 95 of Casey Kane now which allowed me to set my sights on Ryan Newman as we try to retake the lead in Dover and I would run down that 31 of Ryan Newman by the time we come to lap 68 we're all over his back bumper but now it's about finding a way around him because the the AI will never move off the bottom if they're especially if they're the leader they really have that bottom line covered so it was really about timing the move at the perfect time if you want to get to his inside but we decided you know we need to try and maybe make that outside work to get around him but immediately you see the 31 pushes up so I act very quickly to cross him over and take him side by side down the front straight away going into turns one now as we take the lead from Ryan Newman in the 31 cars we come through turns one and two on the exit of two immediately driving away from Ryan Newman and we would continue to do that as we came to lap 81 stretching out the gap with 20 laps to go in this race as we just continue to drive away now as we come through past the line to hit 19 laps to go as we head into turn one just trying to make it to the end of this race as we get a caution with 19 laps to go and Brad Kozlowski and Truex will be fifth and sixth those are the next two fast cars in the field so they're gonna have a tough time getting past these slow cars so I still feel very in command now as we take the green flag and the green flag is back out Kiss Kane will start on my back bumper Newman on my outside as we come across the line it is 16 laps to 
to go in this race. So certainly a short run to the end of the race here in Dover now as we just try our best to hold on to victory as we're still looking for our first win of the season. We got two wins in our rookie season last season in New Hampshire and Darlington. Uh, New Hampshire was a dominating performance and Darlington was more of a strategy call that paid off. And as long as we don't make any mistakes like we made at the beginning of stage two, we should be able to hold on, hopefully, to get our third career win today in Dover now as we have just 15 laps to go in this race as we come down the back straightaway, pulling away from the pack as Ryan Newman holds on a second, Casey Kane third, and Brad Kozolowski in fourth, which is the next car that has actually got some speed as we come out of turn four down the front straightaway to cross the line, hitting 14 to go at this point in the race, just continuing to pull away and at this point I was just hoping that we did not get another caution um, even though Kisilowski is the next fastest car and he sits in fourth so really he'd still be in trouble as long as he doesn't get up the third and then we get a caution so as long as we stay green though we should have nothing to worry about in this race now as we came out of turn four we would come across the line still leading by the time we came to lap 91 with 10 laps to go in this race as I had pulled away a good large uh, put, I put a huge gap between myself and second place I mean Ryan Newman just doesn't have the speed in that car and Truex and Johnson they just couldn't get around traffic now as Kozolowski still sits fourth as we came across the line and now coming to lap 93 continuing to do the same thing as we come through turns three and four certainly some tire marks there going up into the wall so someone must have gotten into the wall earlier in this race now as we come to three laps to go in this race the gap actually started to stabilize a bit between myself and Newman so I actually started to fall off the pace a bit but we only have three laps to go as you see the right front tire was at 43 percent as we try to hang on in the final moments of this race looking for that third career win as we come through turns three and four on the exit of turn four to hit two laps to go as we come across the line looking go, to just make it to the white flag even though you can get a caution on the white flag in this game unfortunately which is a glitch I hope that gets fixed for the next game but shouldn't even be in the game now as we come down the back straightaway going into turns three and four approaching the white flag in Dover all we got to do is just make it around a couple more times as we come out of turn four down the front straightaway the white flag is in the air as we try to hang on for our third career win as Newman lurks in the background but he's not close enough now as we come through turns one and on the exit of turn two down the back straightaway for the final time in Dover as we head into turn three we've won two races new hampshire and darlington one off of dominance one off of strategy and we will come out of turn four with a wreck up ahead but it doesn't matter we will come through to win in dover We certainly didn't dominate this race, but it didn't matter. We were able to pull off the victory in Dover as we get to do our first burnout uh, since Darlington last season, which started just before the playoffs. Now, as I certainly love getting to do these burnouts now in this game, as hopefully we can get a little bit better at it. Hopefully we get some more experience and win some more races now as we continue to burn the tires now off the car as we come down the front straightaway and thankfully we are officially locked into the playoffs now after Dover so certainly we can set our focus on not trying to make sure we're safe in the playoffs we can just now make some maybe bold calls to try and make it in to get some extra playoff points maybe even an extra win off of some strategy calls so certainly we can be a much more aggressive now in these races now that we are officially locked in as Newman brought home the second place finish as he did win stage two Logano sits there in p11 30th for Austin Dillon as a notable and our last place finisher Harrison Rhodes 28 laps down so obviously he DNF from the race now as certainly just a great result in Dover and I couldn't have been happier with it now as we made a good bunch of money now as we sit P3 in the regular season point standings Truex clearly still the dominant car as there's our trophy Miles the monster here in Dover certainly a nice little trophy to have as we win with DC Solar and Cessna on the car there we are celebrating the victory the fire suit does not match the paint scheme at all but uh, I guess that doesn't matter too much now as I mean who cares what the fire suit looks like when we pulled off the victory as we brought home over one million dollars which doesn't seem very legit still as we have many drivers that seem to be happy Austin Wayne self saying we have 15 lifetime wins not quite um, but now Larson not very happy with me okay Keselowski he's not also very happy with me and same as Danica Patrick so maybe not so happy drivers with me at the end of that race 
And in the next episode, we will be going back to Dover with the Xfinity Series for Haley Deegan. We'll see how she does. And I believe we will be racing in the Cup Series at Charlotte for the Coca-Cola 600, which we will hopefully run good there as well as I usually do. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Those would all be very appreciated. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have yourselves a great day. I will see you in the next episode. Take care.